talk for just a moment about God's promises. In Psalms 119, verse 116, it says, Sustain me as you promised. There is a sustaining power of God. And often people think of this as something that happens only every once in a while. No, it is continuous. Now I continue. Sustain me as you promised, and I will live. Now this is not just talking about life and death. It's talking about being alive today. And it continues. Do not let me be ashamed of my hope. Now that's a strange sentence in the Bible. Do not let me be ashamed of my hope. I have seen in ministry many people that are ashamed of their hope, that they think it's childish, that they're mature now, that they must live in reality, that they have to be realistic, uh, that their hopes that they had, well, they have to lower the bar and not believe as big anymore. Now, has God ever told you this? No. The truth is, God wants you to dream big. God wants you to do big things. Sustain me, paraphrased, in that dream, God, as you promised, and I will be fully alive. Uh, Do not ever let me be ashamed of my hope. Let me shout it from the rooftops. Well, God has made many promises to you, and God will keep every single one of them. You can trust God in every situation, and there are no exceptions to this. Are you facing today a difficult decision? Well, pause for a moment and have a quiet consultation with your advisor. I love that word for God, my advisor, to know that in everything that I want to do, I go to God direct, and I ask God, is this right or is it wrong? So many people go just to humans for advice, and they get half good advice at best. Why not go to the ultimate advisor? Are you fearful? Are you fretful? Are you troubled today? Slow down long enough to meditate on God's promises. Are you going through a difficult time with your life? Ask God to help you. After all, that is precisely what God has promised to do. God's promises never fail, and they never grow old. They never expire. You can rely upon these promises, and you will do well to share the hope that you found in God with others. You do this best by example. They'll see it in you. They'll feel it when they're near you, and it will rub off on them. They will know, because they have seen you, that they too can rely upon God for their hope. Only God knows when, in everything, the manifestations of blessings will occur. I ask you to put your faith and your patience and your hope today in God. God's promises are real, and they're real for your life. This is not a generic message. May you take it, and may you wear it as your own. God bless you.